I'm Randy Vance, and thanks for joining me for Sound Advice by Kicker Marine Audio. You know, if your stereo system is going to have big sound that'll carry above the wind and the waves and the motor, it's gonna need to have an amplifier and a subwoofer. Maybe you've already had that set up and the amplifier has failed and you're looking to replace it. Well, the first thing you wanna do is eliminate from your lexicon automotive amplifier. That could have been the reason it failed because it wasn't waterproof and it wasn't marine ready. Another cause for failure is low amperage and that could have come from corroded power leads and you need to make sure that you have four gauge tin copper stranded wire, a spark arrested fuse, and secure marine terminals. Kicker's got a kit for wiring your audio system. It's the KMPK4 that comes complete with 20 feet of red four gauge wire and ground four gauge wire. This is copper stranded tin coated for corrosion protection. It comes complete with a spark arrested fuse and durable marine grade terminals. It's ABYC compliant for safety. Now the average audio system in a boat is gonna require six to eight six and a half inch coaxial speakers and one or two subwoofers. That kind of setup could require two amplifiers. But Kicker has created one called the KXMA 900.5. It's like two amplifiers in one. It's got two outputs for subwoofers and can drive one or two subwoofers and six to eight six and a half inch coaxial speakers. Now, how do you know if you need one subwoofer or two? Well, it's kind of a personal question like, um, how do you know what's better, one martini or two? I think you'll know. Two subwoofers definitely gives more of that heart-stopping beat that people enjoy on the water. Now, if indeed all you plan to do is add a subwoofer to the existing system, you can go with their 800.1. That's ideal for just driving a subwoofer. Finally, if all you're doing is adding tower speakers, you're going to need a dedicated amplifier for that. The kicker's got it covered with the KXMA 1200.2. Now, if you're going to have tower speakers, you should have two zone control. That's what the KMC5 source unit does for you. That allows you to turn the tower speakers down when you need music coming from directly inside the boat. Turn it up when you have a rider out there at the end of the rope. Now, what about powering your system? As a rule of thumb, you're going to need one battery for every 1,500 watts of output. Most boats are already equipped with one starting battery and a house battery to run all the electronics. There should be an isolator switch on it to isolate the starting battery so that you don't draw it down while you're playing the stereo at anchor. Finally, if you need another battery to run your amplifiers and your speakers, it doesn't really matter weight-wise because you're going to be putting ballast in that boat anyway and that extra battery is just going to give you better wakes. Now adjusting your speakers and amplifier for gain can be kind of a mystery, but Kicker's taken most of that out of it. First of all, the controls are LED backlit. They'll tell you if you've gone too high or too low by the way they flash. To further take the mystery out of it, Kicker provides downloadable listening tones, and you can listen to them and watch as you adjust. Typically, you want to start out at 80 hertz for a six inch speaker. You can go a little higher for a smaller one, and a little lower for a bigger one. I'm Randy Vance and this is Sound Advice with Kicker Marine Audio.